<laughs> oh, you're acting. Did you make a decision about today? Yeah. It's okay. These guys are just taking pictures and videos for us. Yeah, yeah they're very nice. Mm. Did you make a decision? What did you decide? Yeah. You're gonna do it? You're gonna walk it out. Expensive 
limited edition covers of Percy Jackson that I've been wanting. It's like three hundred dollars. Year five, close quarters grew us in our love as well as a certain series. It's a little bit funny. This feeling inside I'm not one of those who can easily hide I don't have much money But boy, if I did I'd buy a big house where We both could live If I was a sculptor, <laughs> but then again, no, or a man who makes potions in a traveling show, I know it's not much, but it's the best I can do. My gift is my song, and this one's for you. Tell everybody this is your song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I put down the words. How wonderful life is while you're. Okay, here, go ask Mama to help you, okay? Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the union of these two people. This finding does not define their love, as love exists outside of the confines of religion, government, and capitalistic dictations, but <laughs> this is merely a shape, an expression of the love and care that these two individuals have for one another. I'm so honored to be part of this but I know that their love has already been forged and tested in the flames of real hardships. No matter where they go, their love will stand, tried and true. Percy and Kevin, like all of us, love a good story. So how fitting it is that the two of them have such a wonderful story of their own love. Life is messy and complicated. It very rarely has such satisfying story beats and arcs that a good novel does. But 
Looking back, it's so easy to see the plot unfold. Today, we witness the beginning of their next chapter, where their love to, or their promise to love and understand and cherish is witnessed and recognized by powers beyond themselves. However, unlike the stories that we consume and that of Percy and Kevin's love, this story will have no happy ending. True love <laughs> never has a happy ending because there is no ending to true love. Percy and Kevin's love will outlast their physical forms and in the final moments of the universe when even the earth is but a distant memory of the stars, there will always be the undeniable truth that Percy Iris and Kevin Dean met and fell in love and continued to love each other. Percy, I've never been good at words. You always make me feel so special and have always have something new to say about how much you love me, how much you care about me, and how much you feel about me. When I sat down to think about what I was going to say for my vows, I was scared when nothing came to mind. And then something struck me. I've never been able to form the words simply because there are no words to describe how I feel about you. You have become so natural to me that trying to put it into words is confusing because how do you describe how you feel about the air you breathe? How do you describe what the sun means to you? How do you feel about the wind or just simply being alive? So today I give myself to you as you have to me and vow to be there for you no matter what. Okay. Kevin, my beautiful Kevin, this moment has played in my head a thousand times and now that I'm here, I honestly can't believe how beautiful you look right now. I've waited so long for this moment that I'm not sure if I can find the perfect words anymore. Here I go anyways. I love you. I love you so much. I love that you're the first person I see in the morning and the last person I see before bed. I love the feeling I get when I catch your eyes. I love the warm recognition of your hand in mine. I love your laugh and your contagious smile. I love the way you make me feel when we're together and I love I never have to question the way I feel when I'm with you. You make me feel safe. I have never felt more at home than when I'm in your arms. You take care of me. When I'm sick, you're already Googling my symptoms. <laughs> when you think of me, I can see it in your face. You are always thinking of me. You do things for me no other person ever has. You could never speak another word to me and I would still know how much you love me. I love you more than you will ever know, and I hope someday I can find those perfect words to describe it to you. Nothing's impossible.
safety and home I named both of her eyes Forever and please don't go I could be a morning sunrise All the time, all the time, yeah This could be good, this could be good And I can't change Even if I try me warm she keeps me warm what's your middle name do you hate your job do you fall in love too easily what's your favorite word you like kissing girls can i call you baby We look so good together. Thank you all so much for being here today. 
for Kevin and Percy's wedding. I not only have one rotten child, but I have gained another. And I don't think anybody could ever ask for anything more than two rotten children. Two.